ocean and sky. Can you fly and sail as well as you drive? Let's see what's coming up. You're going to need a boat to access the first event. Use the fast fate vehicle switch and on the tow sailor. The championship is about to begin and it'll start with a power boat race around smaller islands of the archipelago. You can use this short joyride to get better acclimated to your boat. Once the race is on, you will want to know what you're doing. The ocean is yours for the taking. This is Sean Babbler, and this is Bob Schwartz. We're talking to you live from Hawaii, where we'll be following yet another Motorfest series. A very special one, to say the least. Indeed, no rubber or asphalt today. The competition you're about to follow is all about boats and planes, ocean and sky, waves and wind. That's right, and as you happen to be the boat specialist, Bob, the floor is all yours. Sean. Indeed, we're starting right off the bat with some serious inshore powerboat racing. The ocean is nice and flat. Perfect for our competitors to show us how well they can handle these speedsters. If they use their trim right, they'll be able to push their machines to their maximum. These things are fast, man. And I'm especially curious about that red trident shaped boat right there. What model is that? This peculiar one-seater, my friend, is another unique Motorfest creation. A compact yet aggressive speedboat, the Water Rocket. off to a good start. I see a lot of skills down there. You're absolutely right, Sean. Plus, we've got Hawaii on its Sunday best. Careful, it may not last. Trident Rocket is about to reach the finish line. Hang in there, buddy. That's Water Rocket, Sean. Try to keep up. to a beautiful start. I didn't have my morning coffee, but with this kind of show, I don't think I'll need one. Excellent warm-up, Bob. Now, let's fly. Good job, Dre. 
diver, new challenges lie. You've experienced the ocean, now it's time to take to the skies. This is an opportunity to see the island like you've never seen before. Everything, everywhere, all at once. This is Bob Schwartz and Sean Babalu. What's up, Sean? All good here, Bob. The first airborne trial has started, as you all know. These are individual races against the clock, and we're currently following our standout contestant from earlier. Come on, Water Rocket, show them what you got. Well, it truly brings a tear to my eye to see you so enthusiastic, Sean. You sound like you've just hit your 40s again. So, what's your feeling on this? The weather conditions still seem reasonable, allowing our pilots to take advantage of these nice wind currents without any real turbulence. I'm really curious to see how the up-and-coming water rocket will take advantage of that. Let's see how it'll turn out. Do you really think the newbie stands a chance in this competition? Trust me, Robert, I can feel it in my bones. As you can see, some of the risky segments here require flying real close to the mountains. Contestant is now following the ridge of the mountain. A great spot for motocross. Off-roading addicts, this is for you. And welcome to Hawaii. Beechcraft stagger wing is truly a beautiful piece, isn't it? And a great choice for that flight. If you take a look at its side, you'll notice that it bears an unusual negative wing stagger design, which means its upper wing is positioned behind the lower one. A matter of visibility, I presume. You're absolutely right, Bob, among other things. Watch closely, everyone. You don't see such a hot antique going all out like this every day.
Honolulu just appeared on the horizon. Oh, that's a great sight. Here we are, this flight ends above the breathtaking Motorfest playground. A great time for the Stagger Wing and its promising pilots. Well, I'm staggered. the following event. Now that you've seen both sides of this playlist, you know what you've got yourself into. Championship is on, and the next event is just a few minutes south of here. You'll be getting back in the water for a power boat race that will take place around the stunning Hanama racetrack. Since you'll be surfing around the Alpha GP's turf, this obviously calls for a fitting boat, right? Don't worry, we got you covered with the Ice Marine Blade Runner. to trim your boat in the straight lines to gain extra speed. second round. Same contestants, new waters, new boats. Bob? I'm reared up and ready to go, Sean. The pilots are already giving it all. First, the contestants have to go along the racetrack water bridge. That race is not going to be easy. Lots of shallow water sections to cross and many obstacles to avoid. Quite a different lineup that we have here compared to our first aquatic ride. We're going bigger, faster, meaner. I can see it. Check out this boat right there. It looks like it's calling for blood. The Ice Marine Blade Runner 35. British origins, extremely slick design, a boat that catches the eye. Careful with the rocks.
going upriver now, things are going to go differently. Shallow waters, narrow paths. Second lap, there's everything left to play for. A quick shout out to our friend and colleague, Ray Waller, who's hosting the equally remarkable motorsports series just nearby at the Nahoma Racetrack. A real professional. I can almost hear him from here. Here comes the jump. for the boats. For our radio listeners, I'd like to point out that the scenery here is absolutely stunning. Absolutely. It kind of reminds me of that trip I took in Barbados with my wife Giselle about 20 years ago. Runner 35 in all its glory. I love that boat. I actually think I should get one. Well, Bob, I'm not sure Giselle would agree with you on that. on your laurels. Keep going, driver. The competition continues. Let me gather the new data. Done. Time to go to the skies again. For this new flight, you're going to need sharp reflexes and real steady nerves. and more. Low altitude, high pace, and a whole lot of things to avoid. Extreme focus is mandatory here. for that ride, but it's not going to fly itself. 
NASA Europe. You should have seen the colors in that thing. And those custom designs, phew, real masterpiece. No joke, this Bake Off season finale was a real sick. Hello, we're back live. Welcome back, everyone. Hey, Sean, we're back indeed for our second air trial, where another contestant has just taken off. Several pilots already had their turn, so we're well suited to tell you that this path is a toughie. Right, Sean? Well, Bob, you said it. We're talking about a low-altitude aerobatic flight through the canyon and other fun stuff. Highly technical and dangerous. Good luck out there, water rocket. That's a mean section right there. The more I see it, the more I think it must be hard to handle. Yeah, Motorfest sure isn't sparing these pilots, and believe me, they're clearly not out of the woods yet. Look at this guy, cleverly teasing what's coming next. above the lovely Hawaiian countryside. Lovely, sure, but better watch for these wind turbines.
there! It's just about passing that last gate! Beautiful performance. It's incredible what a Zivco Edge and great skills can achieve. Man and machine working in unison. is far from over. This is half time. You've earned a short break. The Power Boat event you're about to join now stretches along the whole northern coast of the island from east to west. There aren't as many turns over there, so it'll be like sailing offshore. I wish I could tell you that maintaining your speed and keeping your opponents at bay is all you need to do. But you'll have to deal with choppy sailing conditions. It was just a matter of time. Did you really think you were going to avoid the Hawaiian curls forever? The good thing is, your boat for this race will be the Lamborghini Technomar. I know, this keeps getting better, doesn't it? We're close. Don't forget. Go fast, but watch for those mean waves. One single move can turn the tide. here, live and ready for that third round of Ocean and Sky. The race has started, and the eight boats are already making their way out of the bay. The joys of live broadcasting, my compadre, Mr. Babalu, is being kept elsewhere at the moment. But we're nothing if not adaptable, so let's move forward until he catches up. time we're going offshore with way bigger boats including the incredible Lamborghini Technomar. You heard it, a boat made by Lamborghini inspired by their astonishing Lamborghini Sean. And fellas, look at this Kraken. It's also important to mention that the sea got a little turbulent since the previous race. The competitors will have to deal with that. Look at that swell. Ooh, someone who's never experienced it can't fathom what it's like to sail in such conditions, especially at that speed. Sean, and I'm back. 
back to the studio with my man Bob. What did I miss? Well, my friend, we're halfway through the race, and the weather conditions are only getting worse. I can see it. I mean, look at these waves. Choosing larger boats clearly was the wise choice for this race. The contestants need to push their engines. Come on, water rocket. They made it! And our challenger handled that gorgeous Lamborghini Technomar like a true sailor. Way to go, Water Rocket! You know what? I think I'm also taking a liking to this newcomer. Job, but the journey is far from over. You're going to need a plane that is both sturdy and maneuverable for what's coming. You'll be flying above the volcano through rough conditions. That's why we have another 20th century legend waiting for you. The crewman F8F Bearcat, a real fighter. If you're going to look down on the volcano, that plane is your best ally. Listeners, 
We're still on, and after quite a rough powerboat ride, it looks like Hawaii is set on making things difficult for our competitors. <laughs> That's right. After dealing with a pretty choppy sea, our pilots now have to cope with difficult flying conditions. Don't get fooled by this beautiful sky. Some serious turbulence is to be expected. Let's just hope that volcano doesn't have an extra surprise in store for us down there. Airplanes, volcanoes, and turbulence. <laughs> Sounds like a good old direct-to-DVD movie. Hold on to your seat. It's time to gain altitude. speak, our favorite Challenger water rocket is back in the sky for this third flight. In the cockpit of a stunning Grumman F-8F Bearcat, or simply the bear. extremely reliable machine. It has served many purposes back in the day. Combat, aerobatic, air racing, or leisure. The stories this plane could tell. For sure. If that thing could speak, you would not be disappointed. He's the master of the island. The big old fire mountain. Look at this. How crazy is that? Motorfest crazy. Talking about the plane, aren't you, Sean? Congratulations, driver. On to the next one. made it to the final part of the championship. Just two more events to go to settle the score in both disciplines. Everything you've learned over the six previous rounds will be key to snatching the last points that could lead you to the podium. with the ultimate water showdown. A race among ships and carriers in the beautiful bay of Pearl Harbor. For this, we have a gleaming DCP M31 being prepped for you as we speak. An all-rounder, chosen to get you through all possible situations.
no pressure, but quite a crowd has come to see this. What can I say? Your contestants are the stars. everyone we're now in Pearl Harbor Bay and the contestants are already sailing at full speed John this is it the final round of this series you're right two events to go starting as usual with an encounter at sea look at this light Sean the day is young and promising just like this race has calmed down, but this doesn't mean there isn't any less action. Our drivers out there must be filled with adrenaline and renewed vigor as these are the last moments to score those final precious points. You're totally right. These guys are going to play every single card they have. Trimming, Nitro, and the best of their sea knowledge. shallow water section. Careful, the passage gets pretty narrow below these bridges. I'm checking on my number one contestant, Water Rocket, who's about to enter at second lap. I'm with you on that. This time, our pilot got a DCB M31, an excellent, reasonably sized performance catamaran. Not as impressive as the Technomar, but way more suitable for that kind of technical inshore showdown. Aircraft carrier. Look at that massive ship. Whoa, that's tough. We are surrounded by matter rays here. Oh, a majestic tribute to the local fauna. Giselle would love that. Just like a ballet. Come on, water rocket. Now's the time to push. Trim that M31. And that's the finish line, Bob. The Pacific has been tamed. A thrilling race, Sean. Way to conclude the ocean part of the competition.
congratulations, driver. On to the next one. This last event is for expert pilots only. And I'm not just saying that. You'll be flying at low altitude through downtown Honolulu, among towers and skyscrapers. Meaning, no room for mistakes. You're in the big leagues. Ocean and sky, final flight, start! Challenger is now taking his turn. The plane has taken off, and it's on. Look at the beautiful skyline in the distance. This is precisely where we're headed. Sean, you're up. Your specialty, your protege, your moment. I'm 100% focused, Bob. This is serious business. Like all the previous contestants before, Water Rocket will have to make it through this extremely technical flight through the city. has already begun. Careful between these two buildings. You've seen it. Some of these sections are dreadful. Extreme mode is mandatory. All right, now a little detour over the shores, then back to town. Beautiful view from up here, fellas. past Waikiki Beach and are now going for the second half of this loop. We have the most fantastic view of the famous Diamond Head right now. Going down. Ooh, careful, not too much. Down to the river, then all the way left. Things are about to get even more treacherous for our pilot. The sun is now directly ahead. This won't make things easier. An extremely sharp turn is coming up. You've got to steer the plane all the way to the right. Sharp left turn. One of the most challenging segments is coming up. It requires a very difficult maneuver. Sean, we're out of the city. The toughest part is behind us. That's right, Bob. Just a few more good maneuvers, and then all we have to do is land smoothly. And back home. That was a flight to remember, Sean. Seriously. A great finale in a series that kept its promises till the end.
haven't claimed your reward for this playlist. From the whole Motorfest staff, congratulations, driver. Our final stop, the container. This series required extremely versatile skills and a pretty strong stomach. And yet, you made it through that championship and won your spot on the podium. You had the guts. You got the glory. Fame won't be your only reward for finishing this series. A different kind of prize is waiting for you. And it's not going to fit in a regular garage. You won the Ocean and Sky playlist. So you bet you're not leaving without a relevant vehicle. So we decided to go aerial, vintage and bold. Grumman Bearcat F8F. to go hit the challenges and site activities we've prepared for you. Remember, use the fast fave shortcuts to instantly switch from one type of vehicle to another. Here we come. The bear is now part of your collection and the skies are yours to explore. towards a new playlist journey.